quick little uh, test I do every season is I uh, try to simulate myself up in a tree, uh, whether it's a climber or a hang on. Um, saddle obviously is a bit different. Um, or uh, I guess I don't really blind hunt much, but if you're in a blind, best thing to do is you can try to simulate yourself being in a tree, right? So what I'll do is I'll sit in this chair here and uh, pretend the back is the tree. I'm gonna pull back uh, without trying to move too much and try to actually simulate uh, the amount of movement that I usually take, which is not much. Uh, and if it's too uh, hard to pull back or doesn't feel comfortable where I can't hold it if I need to for a minute or two, which has happened to me before, um, then I'm gonna have to lower it. But I'm gonna give it a try right here. I uh, suggest you do the same. Let's go. Got the old GoPro. Hi, Matthew McConaughey. Hi. Sorry. Oh. I'll be like so. You always want to have one knocked up. Remember that. And I'll usually be hooked up as well. Sit just like that. Now I'll wait. See a deer, wait for it to get behind the deer. So that's at 73 pounds, and I'll tell you, that's a little stout to pull back. I mean, no doubt, I'm gonna have to lower that at least five pounds. Um, maybe even 10. Because not only do you want to be able to, you know, pull back your bow comfortably, but you don't want to have to, If you, sometimes you got to hold that thing for a while. And man, one time this doe went behind a tree and I waited for her head to get behind a tree and I pulled back and she didn't step out. Anyways, I went like this after about two minutes because I was losing it. And my hood of my uh, uh, leaf suit came over my face. And I had to, uh, needless to say, I got picked off pretty easily. Um, that's the other thing. Wear whatever clothes, practice in whatever clothes you're going to wear uh, out in the field. Make sure nothing gets caught up, uh, like a leaf suit or, you know, when there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of moving parts that can get caught. Also, if you end up wearing bulky clothes, I mean, I've pulled back bows with, you know, jackets and sweatshirts on, and I have to bend my arm a lot or else the string's gonna hit it, and that could easily deflect uh, your shot. So the best thing you can do is sit down to test your bow poundage. Make sure it's comfortable, because as you can just see, there's nothing worse than <clears throat> you wanna be right there. You know, if I was in a saddle, I'd probably leave it. But uh, most every shot that I take is I'm sitting down, trying not to move. Um, I've been busted half, or almost picked off halfway back, right before the wall. And uh, you wanna make sure that you can hold it in a few different situations. You can even either move the target um, or move your chair, but I'm telling you, it's, it goes with the honing in your skills. Make sure that uh, you're good to go as far as poundage and that the clothes you got on, uh, you're able to uh, work around. And uh, yeah, good rule of thumb too with the clothes is you know make sure they're not too loud either. Uh, you wanna be able to sneak up behind your buddy or your wife or whatever in, the, in your uh, driveway without them hearing you. That's a, that's a pretty good test. Um, so yeah, hope this helped you. Um, there's nothing worse than getting up in the tree and going, you know, having a, a nice deer in front of you. And it's a bitch to pull back your bow. It just, it ain't worth it. Uh, 
you know, everything's happening so fast. I mean, sometimes I've turned around, I just move my head and whoa, there's a deer right there, right? And there's nothing worse than being like, right? You wanna just right into your shot, rip it back and give it to her or him. So yeah, anyways, hope it helps practice sitting down and practice with whatever clothes you're gonna be wearing uh, in the field. You know, even if it's a, a face mask or a hat, leaf suit, hat with a leaf mask, whatever it may be. Um, and that's gonna help you out tremendously. All right, hope it helps. I'll talk to you soon, later.